I almost forgot little Theo. There's 17 of them in here. Let's see. Oh my gosh. What is going on, girls? Welcome back to another video here. We got the fence going in today. It's gonna take two, two to three days to get installed, so we will have a fence around the whole entire property here shortly. Also, we just got a I'm talking big, I'm talking massive deliver of rock. Like, I didn't know there was this much rock in the back of, that, in the back of the truck. I, I couldn't, I didn't even know that was possible. Roll the clip. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. What? I won't be able to get out. You gotta, you gotta go around. <laughs> Holy moly. Yeah, they're going, I don't know what we're doing. Oh my gosh. I don't know what we're doing with these. That's a lot of rock. Yeah, so uh, we got a lot of rock and I got a few plans for it. March 29th with this, literally, what is that? This, this weekend? We got Jack, Ralph, and I think Weston. Three pond contractors that you've probably seen before on this channel, but we're gonna introduce them obviously when they get here. Also, Greg Whitstock, of course, from Aquascape. Coming, and we're gonna all build a pond together at this house for the first time here on this property. So that's gonna be a really cool video coming up, so make sure you're subscribed. But anyway, that rock right there, I don't know where I wanna build a pond. It's either right here. I think this is a really, really good spot. We're gonna call this spot number one. It's right at the front of the house, as you can see, boom literally right there so maybe like right here coming right against the side I don't, I don't know that's spot number one spot number two is right here i mean it's it's very similar that's spot number one this is spot number two i think this is really cool because it's just like right you know I don't, there's something about it when you're driving up the drive once again this is going to be filled in with concrete but when you're driving up the driveway you just see like waterfall coming down especially from when the gate's going to be there you can see right to that waterfall so i'm thinking spot number two but you let me know in the comments down below whatever gets the most suggestions that's what's going to happen i go right off the audience perspective and opinion so let's do it comment down below everyone watching comment spot number one or spot number two what do you think is the best one or two and there's some liner. Got stuff all over the, I mean, look. Let me just take a quick look at this. Look how much rock. That is incredible. It is insanely high too. Like, and there's some big rock. That's crazy. Look at this, it's almost the size of my house. Shout out to my boy Kenan for hooking it up. Rock connections are uh, key here in Florida. I actually went out to the funny story. I noticed, I was like, dang, I got nowhere for these guys to sleep. Didn't want them to go and pay for a hotel, so. Jack, I know you're watching. Ralph, I got them mattresses and beds and bed sets and all this stuff. So not only do we have rock, not only do we have a new fence, but we also have a new bed set that's going in the guest room that has all the fish tanks in it. Listen, I, they, they would have had to sleep on the couch. They could deal with the fish tank noise. So now that you saw kind of what's going on around the house, uh, it's gonna be a very, very busy day. So I'm gonna send you over to what Nick filmed. We got baby, baby. Crawfish. I mean, check this out. They're in a different fish tank now. The, this one's way, way better. It even has the lights. See at night? I mean, watch. But hey, here's what Nick did, and he did super well. He filmed like a five minute video, which is pretty cool. So I'm gonna throw you over to the Nick cam, or Nick's filming, okay. Alrighty guys, today, Joey Slam gave me and Paul a few baby crawfish, blue ones. So, actually Paul's right now, right now he's sleeping on the couch. So, yeah, I know I'm usually the one to be sleeping on the couch, but I'm not. So, I'm going to set this little aquarium up for them and show you guys how I'm doing it. Alrighty, here they are right here. So cute. Oh my gosh. There's actually 17 of them. Yep, there he is. Sleeping on the couch. Oh my gosh, he has the pigs with him. <laughs> and there's the 160 looking good. We got some sexy sharks in there. Where's the bala? Where's my bala? Oh my God, look at that. It's a big version of these little guys. Oh my God, look who's waiting for me. Hello, Kiwi. How are we gonna do this? How's that? Oh my God, I'm upside down. All right, can you guys see me? All right, perfect. All right, move back up a little. All right, we got the sand in it. We're gonna go wash the sand out real quick so it's not all foggy. So let's go do that. Good thing I'm doing this. 
Oh gosh. Kiwi, would you be quiet, please? Alrighty, all good. Let's go get some water. I'm actually gonna take water from the pond outside. I'm doing this with one hand, so it's gonna be kinda difficult, but we're gonna go over to the pool pond. We're gonna scoop some water up. Alrighty, this is where it's gonna go. So you know when you're taking a nice little waz, you can see the babies. Right now I'm trying to find some plants, which, okay, here's a lot of them. I'm thinking, hmm, no, because they'll probably end up going in there and getting stuck. Uh, not if I put it this way though, so we'll get one of those. Um, what else, these plants are huge. Paul's not gonna like this. Alrighty, so I broke a piece of driftwood off one of the big pieces of driftwood so they can have something to climb on, you know, so it's not just all plain. Alrighty, so we got a one piece of plant. Wait, what? Not a piece of plant. Thinking this will go like right in there. Probably only do one plant to be honest. I didn't realize how small this tank was. Okay, there's that. Put this rock over here. Now we're not gonna put a filter on this just because of how small they are and they'll probably end up getting sucked up by the filter and die. We're just gonna leave it like this for now and do some water changes every now and then until they get a little bigger. We don't have a small enough net to net these little guys out so I think it's just easier for them and me just to pour them in. So that's what we're gonna do. Just gonna pour them in nice and gently. Oh, there's still one left. Come on. Here they go. Look at them. Let me put a light on it so you guys can see better. Hold on. Alrighty. It's all set up. Look at the little babies. They're so cute. There's 17 of them in here. I almost forgot little Theo. There he is. Let's put Theo in the tank real quick with his buddies. A lot of you actually don't know who Theo is. Theo was given to Paul by catch them all. Yeah, yeah check it, 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 it out, check it out. Wait, it's hold it, hold it steady. Hold, hold, where is it? Hold, You're, oh, look at that steady hand. Paul has a steady hand. Dude, look, it's eating, it's eating. It's stagnant water, it's a crayfish. You can put it in any, no! Oh, I thought you, I thought you were putting it, I thought you were putting it down the sink. <laughs> about a week ago, and yeah, he's been living in here, but we're actually about to put him in this nice home with his buddies. So I'm gonna just do the same thing. I'm gonna pour it, this is all, Good water, so. Right there, kicking down. Camera can't even pick them up. We got all our babies in here, the tank is complete. Now there's only one thing left, and that's the show paw. Can you get up, please? <laughs> Come on, get these uh, get these farm animals out of they here. Jump, I fall asleep without them, and they jump up here and literally fall asleep. Ho ho! Hey, hey! Now that you're all caught up, up to where we are right now, this is present day, I'm going to open up this giant box that has come from Aquascape. Look at this thing, medium pond kit. It's got literally the whole pond inside of it, and we're gonna open it up. Wow, all right, so the top thing is tubing. So as you can see, oh, an auto dosing system. I got like three of these things now. Accurately and consistently adds water treatment to your water feature. Let's see what this is. I believe this is a welcoming kit. Yep, that's what that is. Open this up. We got a nice Aquascape mug. That's a new one, actually. A little flash drive there. Some dechlorinator right there. A bunch of koi pellets. A little algae eliminator right there. Um, that's it for the welcoming kit, though. Got the skimmer right there. Oh, here we go. What gallon pump do we get? Let's see. 2,000 to 4,000 gallon per hour pump right here. I'm actually so stoked to get this pond done. Like, I'm excited. Spot number one or spot number two, who knows where it'll go, but I'm actually really excited. We got the artificial rock right here that goes above the skimmer. Super lightweight, so you can get access to your skimmer easily. This is all for the bio falls right there. Inside, there's a, uh, like, filtration padding. Um, what else? I mean, a bunch of headings and stuff like that. Little mesh for the bio balls. This is, like, bio balls and different stuff for the skimmer. And boom. Literally 15 by 20 liner, chilling with underlayment under that. The underlayment lays down first, then you put the liner. Why am I explaining? I don't know, because you're gonna probably see the video when we set this pond up at the end of this month. 
Now, uh, about a week later, they are already significantly different in size. I mean, look look at this. Look at this one right. Uh, let me get a focus on it. Right there, I got an arrow pointing to it. All three of those, besides the little brown one that we caught out of the canal. Yeah, we actually caught that little tiny brown one out of the canal. So we decided to put it in here with all the other blue ones. That's what they're in right there. We got some plants from the canal. All these little sticks going up and down and through so they can climb on them. They have grown, like, a lot. They were microscopic when we got them and they're already like at a bigger size in just, what is it, a week? Um, we're probably gonna end up growing all these out. Look, they all see me now, so they're all starting to look. Look how big that is. That, that thing was never that big. Really cool little bathroom aquarium here. I mean, look at from above how tiny they are. For perspective, it's not even the size of my nail, even the biggest one in there. So, we've still got a long way to go, but for now, that's super, super cool. We have like, I think there's 18, including the brown one, so 18 crawfish. By the way, just like I called it, live plants got destroyed. I literally said it. The reason why I don't usually do live plants, and I didn't have to buy those ones, so that's the reason why I just sent it and went for it. You'll spend a couple hundred dollars to plant an aquarium that's this big, like a 160, and then they just get wrecked because you got crawfish in there. The iridescent catfish bumping into it, you got all the little plecos biting at it. The clown loaches and quarry cats right there, those things just like nip holes in the plants. So I took them out. They looked like trash after like three days. And I kind of just went with like one big artificial plant and like a little one. So we don't have many plants in here. It's more of just like a wood look. As you can see, the water is way more clear. Since I've done that like 50% water change, it is significantly more clear. But it just, it still looks yellow on camera for some reason. It's not that yellow in person, I promise you. All the Colombians right there. I mean, the fish are doing very, very well. The 160 in the wall is just, uh, it's coming along, you know? It looks really really good. I need to uh, build a bed real quick, so I'm just gonna swish into a, this being made. Swish. From pig room to guest room. Got George in here, and look how big the bicer is. Last night, this thing ate so much tilapia, it's insane. The only fish George gets along with is Weston. My dad named this bicer right here Weston, but Weston is the only one that George likes. I had to actually hang a towel until I get blinds for this room because it was getting so green in here. This mirror right here will be on the wall, and then we're gonna get a few pictures to hang up, some motivational quotes you already know, and uh, this is the bed. I mean, that's a killer little setup right there. So that's that. By the way, it's the next day. Okay. Um, I, I didn't pick up the camera again that day. And that is indeed all I've got for you today. Baby blue crawfish are now here. Once again, shout out to Joey for hooking it up with all these little baby crayfish. Super cool. Can't wait to grow them out and make like a tank dedicated to them. If you went on to enjoy this video, be sure to drop a like down below. Let's see how many likes we can get on this video. I'll, I'll give you five seconds to do it. Cool. And then of course subscribe if you're new. So hit that subscribe button right down there below. It's free, completely free, just click it. And then after that you can click the bell and you'll be notified every time I upload, which is every other day.